from time to time I get questions about how to regulate a watch or which lever should I use. I will cover this topic about regulating a mechanical watch and I think after this video you will be able to regulate a mechanical watch alone. Welcome on Ticking Watch and let's start. To this video I choose an old Soviet Raketa watch, it's Raketa Copernic. By the way, I made videos about service of this watch and as you see on the time grapher, this watch is gaining and it's gaining quite a lot. And because of that, it will be a very good example to experiment. Okay, so here we have our movement and we have on the balance cock, we have two levers. This lever on the left, where is the end of the hair spring, with this one we can regulate the bit error and with this lever we can regulate the hair spring that is working, that is active and that is moving, we can see this. And so this lever on the right is determining the active length of the hair spring. And as a consequence, this active part of the hair spring is bigger, the watch is running slower and when the active length is shorter, the watch is running quicker. And in our case, we have to make the hair spring longer because our watch is running too quick, it's gaining on time. Exactly this I have done, let's check the reading. Okay, I see the watch is running now much better, the bit error increased a little bit, even the amplitude is now <laughs> better. I know that the lift angle of this particular movement is 42 degrees, it has 18 beats per hour and I can see it runs better but there is still a space to improvement. So let's continue our regulation. I will now push this end of the hair spring a little bit back and let's see what we have now. So now the bit error really increased. So we have to push this lever in this direction and now it's better. Please follow the screen on the right corner. Okay, so now I will just play with these two levers to get the best result. Just follow me and see how the accuracy of this movement is changing. Of course, be aware that it is pretty old movement and we probably won't get ideal result, but let's see what can be done. One thing, always wait a little bit because the reading is changing after some time. Sometimes even you have to wait one day, of course I <laughs> won't wait here one day, but it is always a good idea to repeat all the operation the next day, of course when it is necessary. And one more very important piece of advice, always wind your watch fully, so when it has its maximum of its power reserve, then wait to the half of this power reserve and then start regulation. Our goal by the regulation is to get, of course if you have time grapher, is to get one straight horizontal line. Still some adjustment is needed.
Now it seems quite good. What do you think? Can I leave it? I will try maybe to make the bit error a little bit better because it's 0 0.7 a bit too high and as you can see it's not really easy especially by old watches and uh, one remark if you don't have time grapher of course I will leave a link in the description below with offers on eBay and Aliexpress but if you don't have it's not the end of the world, you can still regulate the watch but then you have to touch only one lever and it is this one on the right. I will now make a really quick summary. I think now it's okay, I will not change anything by this watch, it's not perfect but by so old watch is, is, is very good. So let's summarize, by most watches that you can find today they have two levers, with this lever here you adjust the time and the arrows here shows in which direction you should move this lever depending on what result you would like to achieve. If you would like to regulate the bit error, it is the second lever and to do this you need definitely time grapher and you should know the lift angle. To make the whole process easier, in most cases on the balance cog there are marks plus and minus by vintage watches. There is mostly one, only one lever that you can adjust, here to adjust the bit error is much more complicated because you need to manipulate the hair spring on the balance stuff. If you would like to see my other videos check this here, thank you for watching and I hope to see you again very very soon, bye bye.